small man. Small man. Ah, small man. He's a small man? I am. You're on Mr. Banana, Billy Banana. Oh, I've never seen that process. Hello, how are you? All the juicy beef. Hi. Hi. The beautiful oh. ladies of Calicut. There's the milk sarba. We're mixing it with some sort of... Whoa. What is going on here? And now we are going to... Kutichuru? Kutich Kutich Biryani Center. Biryani Center. Oh. Yeah. Hello, are you the owners? Yeah. Oh, so nice to meet you. What's your name? Uh, Rias. Rias. My name is Brent. Nice to meet you. And what's your name? Manesh. Manesh. Nice to meet you. Thank and you. are you are you the Biryani Brothers? Yeah. yeah. Yes, the Biryani Brothers at K B C. Yo, so here's the prices we're working with. Beef biryani full from 130 Indian rupee. That's about one dollar and fifty cents. Thalassery chicken. <laughs> I've never heard of that. So we got a little more time until the actual uh, biryani preparation starts. So Sabu is telling us to come over here to this kind of like roadside stall to try the cheapest food in Calicut. Uh, We're gonna try it. What are we trying, Sabu? We're be trying kani. Kani? Kani, okay. Kenny, Kenny time before the biryani. Looking into this uh, little store. Oh, they got everything. They got they got toothbrushes. I need a new one. Is it soft bristle? They got the toothpaste right here. Looks like they're. Uh, I know the head. What is going on here? Hand pump. Hand pump. Hand pump in the water. Kenny. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Is that rice? Rice pudding. Yeah, rice pudding. <laughs> Wow. Okay, and he's pulling out these little oh fish God, here. No. Are these the Kearney fish? Uh, What's going on? Kearney? Mati. Mati. Oh, oh they're, they're actually sardines. Kadala curry. Oh, the curry. The curry, wow. Kadala curry. curry. So good. Kadala curry. Kadala curry. And, and here comes the fish gravy. It's like a chickpea curry. Okay, and he just gave us a scoop of the pickles as well. Wow. Mmm. And the that's next, good. And the next method. Wow. You need to add everything into the curry. Just mix and eat. Wow. It's like a salty rice soup. Everything. everything together. Everything. Everything. Even no, fish. No, no, no fish. No, no fish. fish. Yeah. This was, this was kind of good, like a oh. salty rice soup almost. Oh, oh, we're pouring everything in, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna dump this fish sauce. Oh. Look at all the colors are changing there now. And then, do you want any more of the curry? You didn't take too much. You want any more? Give me more. Yeah, yeah, he's gotta take some more. <laughs> There's chickpeas in there. And oh. it's gonna taste awesome. This looks so That's good, actually. Awesome. Pow! Pow! Mm. That's good. Mm. Pickly, savory, spicy. Yeah. Wow. The rice is really tender. It's what soft. kind of leaf is it? Is it, is it curry leaf? It's good. I think it's curry leaf. Curry leaf will be there. Oh my god, that's amazing. And Sabu, you said this is one of the cheapest meals yeah. in Kerala. Yeah, yeah. How, how much would this cost? Like, you should be serving, serving so it for 20 rupees, 30 rupees. Oh, 20 rupees. 20 rupees. So under yeah. just about a quarter. Yeah, that's USD. amazing. That's crazy. I like it. You like it? Yeah, 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 amazing taste. That really surprised me. I, I didn't know what to expect when he said the cheapest food in Kerala, but that was good. What? I could like crush fish that on a daily less, basis. Less than two dollars. Fiber, less than two dollars. Yeah, with fish, with Man. two fishes. Wait, 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 and wait. enough rice to fill your tummy. That's a mega deal. And it was healthy too. Like, yeah. nice. It's, good recommendation, it's healthy. Yo, and check this out. We are on Coconut Row over here. So what's going on here is they are... Oh, he's not doing it. Small man. Small man. Ah, small man. He's a small man? I am. No comments. Wow. Throwing his friend under the bus over here. So what this guy is doing here is he's knocking the coconuts together to see which ones are good coconuts and which ones are bad coconuts. So I think that's the bad coconut pile. And this is the good coconut pile. So Sabu, those are the good, when you say good coconuts, like they're filled with a lot of meat? Yeah, it will go to, I mean, it's not dry. They're checking, right? No, uh, I'm stopping. They can add from the sound, they can identify if it's dry or fresh. So we want the fresh. Yeah. Okay, so where the dry, the dry ones are over there and the fresh ones are here. Okay, into the biryani layer. Oh my God, did not expect this. What in the world? Wow, I thought we were just operating out of some little kitchen. This is insane. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, they've got the burning coconuts. So they're not using wood to fire the biryani. They're using burning coconuts to cook the biryani. I've never seen that before. It smells so, so smoky in here. But kind of sweet. What? And now he's scooping the hot coals from under here. That's the, all the burned, charred coconut shells. Oh, he's putting it on top. Wow, so you're getting heat from both angles. You're getting heat from the bottom and heat from the top. Oh, I've never seen that process. And there's more of the mita wrapped around the giant biryani pond and big stones on top, so there's not a chance for any oxygen to escape. Yeah. Wow. That's the biryani. That's maida. To, maida. To seal, to seal the air. Like the, the, the all-purpose flour that was sealing yeah. it in there. Yeah. Are, are, those, are those fried onions? Yeah, okay. fried onions and then the roasted cashews. Oh Raw cashews, okay. Oh, roasted. Rostin. 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 Roasted. Oh, roasted onion, cashew. Onion roast. How, how many layers? Two layers. Yes, two, 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 two layers. Three. Oh, three layers, three layers. Three layers. Three layers. Three layers. Three layers. And the meat will be in the bottom. And look at the colors oh. start to change. Now he's getting some yellows in there. He's different from Hyderabad, right? Oh, it's yeah. So yellow. Oh. He's, oh, he's mixing all the stuff together. Wow. Amazing. There's the chicken. The offside rice down. Oh my gosh, look how thick and delicious that looks. Oh, the chicken. All the ghee, all the juices from the chicken have dripped down now. The big piece of chicken on the bottom. And now he's lifting this patch off. Is this the beef biryani? Beef biryani. Yeah. Beef biryani. Actually, they're famous for their beef biryani. And he's pulling off the maita, that, that like flour wrap that seals okay. all the flavors in. Okay. Yeah, go. Oh wow, and more big scoops. <laughs> and then we're starting with the white rice on top. Scooping all the rich fat, all the rich beef, all those juices together. Oh, it looks heavenly. It looks so, so nice. Boom. Big chunk of beef. Wow. And there comes the rice. Oh, my God. Oh, and a scoop. There's all the all the juicy beef. And then he's throwing the biryani on top. Oh, making a nice little circle with it. That's beautiful. That's brilliant. And it is show time. Here it comes. Wow. Those look so beautiful. So spherical. They look like little half domes. So here we've got the raita. And this is coconut chamandi. Coconut chamandi. Chandi or chamandi? Yeah, both the same. Both the same. Chamandi is chandi. Chandi will be more liquid. No problem. More, more water. More watery. So this is a chamandi. So it's chunkier. Oh, and this is more of those pickles. Beef stew. Beef stew. Wow. Liver. Beef liver. And beef liver. And the beef liver. Oh wow, it's like green. More of those curry leaves in there. And look at this. It's ugly juggly. Juggly juggly. Oh, got the leg. that's the chicken. Look at this. You ready? So good. Wow. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Very salty. Very savory. Very tender. It's definitely got that dark meat flavor to it. You can definitely taste all the different, wow. all the different, um, the, the ghee that they put in there. Wow. Amazing. Mm. Good rice, flavorful rice. All right, next up we're gonna try the fish curry. I don't ever think I don't think I've ever had a fish biryani in my life. Sabu, can you give me a little bit of that coconut chamundi on there? Sure. I want to mix that up and try that with the rice. No, by itself. Yeah. Don't mix it with the rice. Okay. Wow, coconut chamundi. Oh, it's sour. It's zesty. It's tangy. It's spicy. It's a little bit sweet. I love that. So we're gonna grab a big piece of that fish like that. Oh, look at how meaty that looks. Let's grab some of the rice too. You want some, Mr. Taster? Yeah, why not? Oh, oh man. My first fish biryani. You ready? Let's do it. Bow. Mmm. Wow. That's amazing. This is good. It's so sweet. Oh. It's really, really meaty. Really what, juicy what kind of fish. fish. Kingfish. Hmm? Kingfish. Kingfish. Oh, it's so good. I'm in love with it. It's very common here. <laughs> we made a mess. The sweetness is so nice. It pairs so well. Like the savory element of the rice, and I still got the spicy mm. spiciness of that coconut chamundi on my tongue. Wow. Wow. You can taste the curry leaves all throughout. And that ghee making it just so rich and like buttery. That was good. That was an amazing, amazing biryani. Okay, biryani complete. It's time for the next chapter. Now we got the liver and we got the, what do they call this? 
Beef. Actually, this is beef it's stew. Beef, beef stew. stew. But local style is beef ish stew. Beef ish stew. I'm, I'm grabbing a really? I'm gonna go grab okay. a big chunk of that liver. Oh, it's so dense. I'm gonna mix that with a little bit of the rice. I'll have it without rice. That. Okay. Pow. Coconut here. Super coconutty. That's like the sweetest liver I've ever had. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You were with coconut. That was so good. I need more. That's Everything here with coconut. Mm. It's got a great, yeah, let's try with rice. great sweet flavor to it. That's so good. That's ghee rice. Mm. Oh, ghee rice. The ghee rice. Mm. This is so buttery. It is. So savory. Oh my mm. gosh. Mm. The texture of the liver. With rice is bitter. Mm -hmm. You're right. I like crumbles in your mouth. Let's take a big spoonful of the beef stew. I'm gonna yeah. pour that over your rice. Perfect. Take it here and pour it over my rice. You want another scoop, Mr. T? Um, one more, one more. Okay. Push, it, push it to the limit. One more here as well. And the beef. And let's go ahead and pull that yeah. beef apart. Oh, wow. Look at this. Stretching it. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Wow, look at this, guys. Looks like super fatty in there and so, so nice. Okay, you ready? Let's do it. Here we go. Bow. Mmm. Oh. So sweet and savory yeah. as well. Really creamy. That beef stew, beef stew is super. Is it super coconut creamy. again? Yeah. Coconut mm. milk. Oh. More coconut milk. It's almost like a coconut curry beef stew. Mm. That's the flavor I'm getting. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's heavenly. Now let's mix it with some more of that a coconut chamaran. The uh, the coconut chutney for more of that spice element. So you can get the sweetness and the spiciness. It's amazing. Mm. Well, onion, thank you. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I love it. That's it's a crazy favorite. combination. Yeah. I think I might have liked the beef stew the best. And that's that. Thank you so much again. That was amazing food. Amazing biryani here at the Kachuri Biryani Center. Thank you so much, everybody. Wow, that was that was one of the best meals that I've had in, in, in Kerala so far. We've eaten a lot of good food. We haven't had anything that I would even consider just okay. Everything here in Kerala has been outstanding. But that beef stew, um, I want more, 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 and more. And we're about to try the most famous beverage in all of Calicut at this famous, hello, at this famous shop. But first we gotta try not to get run over. Oh yeah, they're waving to me to come in. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hello, how are you? It's good, at, is this the Sarbat? Sarbat. Sarbat. It looks Sarbat. very, very nice. We've been told that the shop actually recently moved because of city renovation. Hello, how are you? Yeah, it's very good, good, very good. Let's see what's going on here, okay. It yeah. appears, there's, yeah. the, there's the milk Sarbat. We're mixing it with some sort of, uh, I don't know, it looks like a sugar syrup. That over here is packing away on the ice. Chopping, chopping, chopping. He's got this like, uh, Looks like a giant rusty nail that he's breaking up the ice with. And then this is, uh, what is going on here? This guy's got a, a knife too, and he's always slicing the lemons with the knife. Oh wow, breaking up all that ice. Oh man, that thing is so sharp. Let's see what's going on here. So it's the Sarbat. The Sarbat. The Sarbat. Okay. Like looks like a sugary syrup. Yeah, sugar syrup. And then he's reaching in to grab some of that ice. ice. Cracking the ice up into there. It's got gloves on, so it's a very hygienic experience. Oh, that's the milk. And the milk. Oh, look at how creamy that looks. Oh my gosh, it looks nice. Milk, sarbat, ice. Oh man. Good. Okay, and then he's washing wash out the spoon over there. Washing out the spoon. He's grabbing. Find the water out of there. Freshly washed cup. And now he's pouring in. More of that Sarbat. Mr. Taster, what is Sarbat? It's like sugar syrup? Yeah, sugar syrup, yeah. In Farsi, we call it Sarbat too. Oh, in yeah. Farsi, you in call Farsi, it Sarbat. Sarbat. If you guys didn't know, Mr. Taster is from Imran. Oh, I just got, <laughs> just got shot with an ice cube in the eye. Oh, and he's actually taking lemon and he's putting it on the rim of the glass. Uh, to disinfect it, I think. And so you can see the price list over there. The milk Sarbat is only 25 Indian rupee, which is just about under 30 so cents. He's the second USD. generation of the yeah, mega, mega deal. And oh, this is the son. I believe this is this is the own you're the son? Oh yeah, oh for this man. Wow. Let's see uh, let's see how he likes it. Wow. Very nice? Very nice. Oh, I wanted to see him get the sorry button last night. Oh, what's up guys? Hey. 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 Hey.
Skellica Kids out here. Hi guys. How are you? What school? St. Joseph's Junior. America. America. And he's, he's from Iran. And so unfortunately the owner is no longer with us, the founder, but you are the, the son. And this is your your, your son, to the owner's grandson. So three generations. Your father. Your father. Shouting. Amazing. What was his name? Baskrat. 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 Very nice. Hello. 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 Wow. Amazing. A family business right here in Calicut. A family Sarbat business. The family that Sarbats together stays together. Cheers. Cheers to Kerala, to Calicut. That's so good. It's so sweet. Mm. It's so creamy. It's like vanilla ice oh. cream with extra sugar. Guys. It's nice. It's, it's amazing. Perfect for a hot day like this. This is killer. I'm loving it. It's got a very nutty flavor to it. I like it. It's yeah, got I like a cashew so flavor to it almost. That is the milk and the sherbet mixed together with the ice. Actually, this one is that good. Oh. Oh. oh, it's sarsaparilla. Oh. oh my gosh, it's that's, what, that, that's exactly flavor. what it Whoa. tastes like. That's what it smells, it's the smell is it local? It's exactly what it tastes yeah. like. Okay, quick pit stop on this Calicut food and drink tour. This is, I think, a Kuruchira pond? Beautiful. Yo, Sabu, what's the, what's the name of this pond? Kutichira. Kutichira. Kutichira pond. Mr. Taster is uh, putting on the, the lungi. I left mine in the car, whoops. So let's, uh, let's go down here and take a look at this place. Oh, wow, boom, boom, boom. Oh wow, it's a beautiful green color. Hey, Mr. Duck. It's like a black duck in there. Oh, and they've got some little like uh, floaties. Maybe you can float in here. Maybe you can swim in here. I'm not sure. Next stop, get on the banana boats. Wow, have you ever seen so many bananas in your life? And a few coconuts thrown in the mix as well. What is my man doing here? He's got this very small knife and he's slicing the skin off the bananas. Wow, the skin looks so thick. And he's tossing those bananas uh, into this plastic colander shaped bowl. Hello, how are you my friend? Hi. You are Mr. Banana, Billy Banana. Wow, look at these. And they're, they're, they're certainly not ripe bananas. They're as green as green bananas get. Let's get up close and see what he's doing there. Wow, big. Thick, beautiful bananas. So uh, let's feel with this. Oh yeah, that's that, that's tough, leathery banana skin. Wow. So we're here because apparently this is the most famous banana chip shop. So now he's washing the fresh cut banana chips. We didn't. Did, did, did oh, oh wow! What is that? He's putting the turmeric powder. Turmeric. He's putting the turmeric powder. Turmeric. Wow! Unexpected. Wow! He had the turmeric in it. Washing them in the turmeric water now. Giving them a good scrub, a nice bath. Have you ever seen anything like this before, Mr. Taster? No, my first time. Wow. It looks cool and refreshing in there. I want a dip. And the store, they're selling all sorts of other little snacks as well. They've got dates, they look like some corn, corn products. And now he's taking the freshly washed and soaked in that turmeric water, and banana chips, and he's putting them right over there in that bowl. Oh wow, and now he's taking the coconut yeah. shells, and that's how he's feeding the fire. No way. Wow. We've seen in other parts of Calicut how they're using wow. those coconuts as, 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 a, as a fire source. And then he's putting more water on those freshly washed, oh, oh my gosh. Salt water, oh, it's salt water, okay. When he's grabbing his hand. Oh! Sizzling! Wow. Oh. oh, it's this giant shovel here. Wow. Oh! Oh, oh. yes! The special effects! Oh my gosh! Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Amazing! Wow, that's incredible. So this is Kumari banana chips on the Kunar Road Calicut. A very, very famous place. As Sabu tells us. Let's take a look at what else they're selling here. Okay, there's there's some of the, the older banana chips, not the super fresh ones. Yeah, we got like dates. Those almost look like little samosas. We got some like, the name is escaping what they call these little Indian dry snacks here. And we've got some 
like Mishti Doi maybe, some other Indian sweet treats. How are you, brother? Uh, Amar Nam? Nam? No. Name, yeah. Nam? Nam Morko Morko. Tomato Morko. Tomato Morko. Can I try one? Yeah. Just one? Tomato Morko. My man's gonna take the glove off. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you. Oh, man. Kinda looks like a Taki. Oh. That's insane. Oh my god. That's so good. It's like crazy masala flavor. It's so crunchy. It's so crispy. It's like the best Cheeto ever made. Indian Cheetos. Oh my gosh, those are good. I'm just scooping in all those fresh banana chips. Could I could I have one? Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Okay, my first chip. My first taste of a fresh banana chip. Wow. That's good. Bananally, coconutty, sweet, crunchy, crispy. Give me more, more, more. We're definitely getting a bag of those for the road, guys. Those were so, so incredible. We're not just trying one banana chip, baby. We gotta buy a bag. Thank you, my friend. So, so good. Hello. Banana chips, please. Banana chips. I don't even know what, what size bag they're gonna give us or what here. I'm just giving them uh, the equivalent of a dollar and we're gonna see what happens here. Hello, how are you, my friend? Uh, what did, what did you get, banana chips? Yeah, uh, Very nice, huh? Some. Very, very nice. Uh, These are amazing, though. One under two, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. We've lost, we've lost our translator somewhere. Whatever 100 gets me. I really want some of, some of these, dude, I wanna, get, I wanna get some of these so bad. These are so, so tasty. Just 18. Thank you, 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. We'll get 20. 20. 20 of these. 20 of these, yeah, yeah. And they're bagging up some of these amazing Indian Cheetos, I'm calling them. I have to get these for the road. These are going to be like the ultimate road trip snack as we continue cruising all around Calicut. Absolutely addicted to these. Wow. Okay, that's a mega deal for 20. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Thank you. All good. Yes. Okay, don't about. Thank you. Thank you guys. Hi. Hi. The beautiful ladies at Calicut. Good, how are you? Uh, hi. Nice to see you. To see you. Would you like some chips? Please, please, please. Hello. How are you ladies? Nice to see you. Uh, two Sundar Ho. You're very, very beautiful ladies. You're very beautiful. Very pretty girls. So nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. What's your name? I'm Nia. Oh, beautiful name. And your name? Sina. Sina. Thank you for being so kind. And the Calicut food. Halwa makeup. Yes, the Calicut food adventure continues. And now we're going to go see how halwa is made. Oh, my word. Look at this. I've never seen halwa made before. It's, it, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, my gosh. Here is this man. He is. Hello, brother. How are you? He's stirring this. Oh, we got the. I think these are like the wood chips here that they're using to, to heat up the oil and whatever else is in there. Oh, and so they they use like this uh, metal pole to like lightly put some of the wood chips in the hole to keep it hot. Sabu, can you explain to us what's going on here? Actually, they have put in uh, corn flour, corn flour, and sugar. And sugar. Actually, there are two types, means there are different types of halwa. Like uh, there will be, they'll be using rice, wheat. Maida, the corn flour, and this one is corn flour one. This is corn flour oh, yeah. halwa. Yeah. Okay. They're we'll using corn flour and sugar syrup. Got it. For this one. And that's what's in here right now, the corn flour and the sugar syrup. Oh, this looks so intense. So insane. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, look at how thick that looks. Oh my gosh. It's looking like a, like a jelly almost. This one will be more soft and it will take less time. More soft and less time, so yeah. a different type yeah. of halwa. Yeah. Actually, there will be rice, wheat, maida, uh, corn flour. Now wow. we have to find the corn flour. It's very fast, you can make it very fast. Okay. Wow. And what have they added there? What are the sugar? That's the sugar being added. Oh, it seems so hot. It's starting to smell so sweet in here. I can't believe like how many wood chips are on the floor. So just like the, the heating process never stops. Just keep shoveling and shoveling and shoveling here. This is crazy. So that's the corn flour. Oh, and then he's pouring it in. 
And that's the sugar. Is that the hot sugar? Because yeah, it's the hot sugar, sugar. yeah. Oh. With the salt. Oh! Oh! Here comes the oil. Wow. Yo, it's so hot in here, just breaking the, the hottest hawa sweat ever. It's hotter than hawa. Wow. You feel me? Oh, they're setting the nuts in there. We've got some cashews. Looks like maybe some almonds. Oh my gosh, and he's big. They're going big. 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 They'll be pouring that hard halwa mixture into this pan. They're gonna pour the hard yeah. halwa mixture into the pan so all the nuts get ingrained in the halwa. And he's using <laughs> this almost like a butter knife to split the nuts in half. So they're perfectly flat with the bottom of the pan. Now they're adding the Whoa. coconuts. Whoa. Wow. Fresh coconut shavings in there. Oh, oh wow. Oh my gosh. And here comes the water. Wow! Into the boiling hot pan. <laughs> wow! Little don't move around, stand Yeah, here. yeah, we're just here. When he's scraping these wood chips into that hole there, that's gonna just add more and more fire. This, this already infernal. Oh, excuse me, my friend. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, Watch your fire. feet. Holy smokes. Gonna lose our leg hairs, Mr. Oh. Taster. Whoa, oh man. Sugar. Loaked out, loaked out. Here comes the sugar being poured in. Oh, big heaping scoops of sugar. Wow. You know, he's taking the spatula, he's putting more and more wood shavings in there. Stirring. It's like a, a milky, watery texture and consistency right now. And he's putting the salt. Wow. Just a little, little, little couple spoons of that salt in there. Is this the corn flour? Yeah, yes, there goes the, the corn, corn flour, flour into the water. Wow. And now he's mixing it. Stirring it with his hand now. Stirring it. Truly just sensory overload in this in this Hawa factory. Hawa distribution center as well. A Hawa manufacturing facility here in Calicut. And uh, it just doesn't stop. These guys have been going non-stop. Non-stop stirring, non-stop pouring, non-stop heating the flames. It's just a labor of love. Whoa! That was that was that was from the depths of hell. Oh and I was pouring in that corn flour water mixture in there with the syrup, in there with the salt, in there with oh. the water. There oh, comes the oil. Right. Oh. Wow. And notice how he like took the oil and he kind of spread it all around the sides. Look at how thick it's cooking. It's been cooking in there for only less than three minutes. And it started picking up so much. And he just added more and more oil to the mixture, so now it's getting even more yellow than it was before. Got to keep the GoPro away. This thing's gonna melt. It's gonna be one big plastic ball if it gets any closer. Okay, and here he's got the tutti frutti, which we just found out is dried papaya. It looks like Christmas. <laughs> he's about to dump that into the hawa. Wow. Look at how green that's those, those rich greens. There's just a little bit of red in there. Tutti frutti. A very fun thing to say. And here we go. Tutti frutti dropping in. Whoa. Oh. Tutti frutti. Tutti frutti. Tutti frutti. Juice, juicy tutti frutti. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, Whoa. it's Christmas morning. Oh now he's adding oil to the Tutti Frutti Hollow Mix. That looks so amazing. And the sweetness that's coming off it now. Oh! We almost lost our, our cameraman to the Inferno. <laughs> the lens almost took him out. Oh, what's he gonna add there? Food coloring. Food coloring. Oh, essence, green essence. Wow, look at that. Fruity, fruity essence. Coconut essence? Pista. Pista. Oh, pistachio essence. Oh, look how green it's getting now. Oh, that's amazing. Here comes the dried wow. fruits. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look how it's cooled down the temperature. Wow. So tutti fruity, pistachio, Dried fruits and dried nuts, all in this hollow. And there he goes, he just dumped in that tutti frutti slash dried fruit slash dried nuts hollow. Look at that, guys. Wow, it looks so, so good. Oh, he's using this plastic thing here to smooth it out and to keep everything level. 
Oh my gosh, it looks like a dream come true. All these are filled with even more dried nuts. The whole size nuts, the cashews, the almonds. And just, oh wow, they just threw it in there. That was violent. Oh, look how sticky it is. Wow, it looks so much stickier than the other stuff. You can see how it's kind of like, it's like it's this elasticity between the two containers. Oh, that looks so, so lovely. So we got the pista, uh, we've got the orange. Tender coconut. Tender coconut? Mixed fruit. Mixed fruit, okay. okay. We're gonna start with the pista tutti fruity. Oh. Doesn't that look good, Mr. Taster? Boom. Pow. Oh, mm. it's pistachio. Yeah. Yeah. It's so chewy. Mm. Wow. It's like jelly, it's candy. And there's the crunchy elements in the it nuts It's crunchy, now. yeah, the nuts. It's very sweet. Mm. Oh. Ah, it reminds no. me of fruitcake. <laughs> just fully like rich, fruitcake. Fully rich. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Let's try the mixed fruit one. Uh, mix of fruit. Here we go. Too much Grab dry fruit. Grab some Too much dry fruit. It's packed. Pow. Mmm. Oh, I like it. That's nice. Rich. Same kind of flavor. A very sweet. Mm. A very soft. This very one moist. is tender coconut. Tender coconut, okay. I think it's the most famous one. The tender coconut's the most famous, okay. Yeah. Pow. Mmm. Oh, coconut. I like it. Very good coconutty flavor. It's like coconut jelly almost. Which one's this? Uh, go the middle one. Wheat. 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 The wheat hawa, pow. Mmm. Sweet. Cinnamony. I like that. I think the pista was my favorite. Orange. But we gotta try the orange one. Pow. Oh yeah, it's like a jelly. It's like a fruit snack. This one was my all-time favorite though. And the mixed fruit was the second little, favorite. Little, because I loved the crunchiness no, no, with the this. sweetness, the with one. the jelliness. Mm, yeah, mm, that's really, really good. And that's that, everybody. Yeah. Wow, okay. Mr. Taster is about to board uh, a flight back home, then a flight to Delhi. Uh, brother, I can't thank oh. you enough for no, this experience. No, thank you. I, I don't even truly have the words to no, thank, thank you, No, thank you. Thank you for coming, and it, was, it, it means a lot to me. I've been watching Mr. Taster for almost a decade now. He's someone that I've looked up to, and he's inspired me in so many ways. Thank you. And if you know what it's like to be a vlogger, you know, most people won't even message or DM you back if they have a certain amount of followers. Um, but Mr. Taster, he said, <laughs> please come to India, come meet me. And I hopped on the first plane, oh, and here I am. Absolute pleasure. Thanks I'll never, for coming. I'll never forget these days, yeah, man. No, I mean, from the bottom of my you, heart. Thank, thank you, brother. Thank, thank you. you so, so much. I want to give a major thank you to our good friend here, Stalin. Thank you for being such a great cameraman. My hands are so sticky. I don't want to get them more stickier. Thank you, brother. Great with the camera skills. And finally, Food Hunter Sabu. Brother, thank you so much. This guy, <laughs> this guy is probably so sick of me. He never wants to see me again. Thank you for setting up. I'm getting. I'm no, getting. Man. I'm getting. <laughs> my audience knows I'm joking. Thank you for. He, him and Mr. Actually, Taster. I'm thankful for coming to my uh, country and picturing and taking our videos to the international audience. It was an honor, this man. Thank mine. you. I, I, I felt so much love when I was here, man. And uh, thank you for getting so many of the meals, taking care of so many. This guy drove everywhere. This guy drove like a thousand kilometers in, in the past <laughs> four days. I'll never forget you, brother. Hopefully we can meet again. Sure. Um, but if not, we'll stay in contact. And Food Hunter Sabu, make sure you follow him. Make sure you follow. Uh, Mr. Taster, but I'm headed back to the hotel room. I'm so tired. It's been an exhausting couple of days I love you guys so much and I and I really have a lot of love and respect uh, for my new friends here So really hope you enjoyed this uh, This Kerala video series that we did. I'm so I'm so so tired guys My name is Brent Tim from Kalakut Kerala, and I'm saying ciao for now <laughs>